as well. Yeah. There's a yeah, video of McMill yeah. meeting the president right. hmm. and having an interaction. Yeah. And um, maybe many people will think this is out of contest, mm. but I am situating it about on if you go to meet a certain personality, what type of conversation mm. do you Should need to have? have? If it's an informal conversation, then that's fine. Okay. If it's an informal conversation too, mm. and you know that that conversation could transition into the public domain, right. you should also be careful what type of conversation you have. Mm. So let's just watch this. And I, and I want to pick your thoughts on, yeah. on, on okay. what, it, what he said. Okay. I had mar two bags of marijuana in my pocket. I never really believed in selling crack. And my friends really started hanging out with each other. And I got to know him. I scaled him because I don't know any powerful, successful white men. I never had. I asked him one day because I knew he was extremely powerful from me viewing him. And I asked him, I said, could you come to court with me? He came in the back and told me that he wouldn't leave me back there. He swore to get these type of people supporting him. In my pocket, I had mar two bags of marijuana in my pocket. I never really believed in selling crack, and my friends really started hanging out with each other. And I got to know him. I scaled him because I don't know any powerful, successful white men. I never had. I asked him one day because I knew he was extremely powerful from me viewing him. And I asked him. I said, "Could you come to court with me?" He came in the back and told me that he wouldn't leave me back. Yeah. So I know this is a cultural thing, and we know the gentleman had. Um, been in prison and then, of course, subsequently uh, released. But at the end of the day, I wanted to situate it with what type of conversation do you have with a president of a republic? Any republic, it doesn't matter whether it's for diaspora purposes or um, touristic purposes. And then how do you situate that, knowing that you're somebody who is also in the public domain and that conversation could come into the public uh, as well? Because I'm thinking if, you're, uh, if you came to Ghana, and you're a high up um, star or rapper, even though we're told that he's not like Jay-Z, etc. Mm. And you come and meet a president of the republic. I'm thinking that the conversation, if it's within a certain certain should, should be situated well. So that, mm. uh, because this thing about, well, you were caught with, with weed and you are trying to explain to the public or to the president of the republic that you're not usually somebody who uses crack, etc. I don't know how that filters into the public domain and, and, and gets the whole agenda. And now we've gotten all this thing mixed up because you went to uh, be given a, a permit to, to film a music video. And he and says that it looks as if maybe they didn't know that it was actually a music video they were going to shoot because he was holding a small camera um, you know, blah, blah, blah. For me, for that particular video, I wish that we would rewind it a bit further to understand yeah. how this conversation started. Yeah, of course. Was of course, it that course, maybe the course. president or whoever was in there yeah. asked him, what led to you going to jail? What happened? How did they happen? Which is probably why he was explaining that. Exactly. If that's the case, then I, I, I won't fault him necessarily. Is it something that he talks about publicly? I think so where he talks about what led him to go into jail, does he regret it and all of that. So if that's the case, I won't fault him too much for it, if you yeah. ask me. Honestly. That's when we movie about it, yeah. etc. So yeah. I, we know that in, in their lyrics, of course, um, the things that, the F words that they used and the N words, and, and those are public issues, but yeah. they don't say them <coughs> officially. I mean, they, they don't get to go to it's the White House and go and say, so, so, the that, things that so they... that's where my, I was quite, because I was a little <laughs> confused. I mean, that's why there's a thing called protocol. Yeah. And that's why there's a thing um, called guidance. I mean, you're going to see the precedent of the land. And I'm sure you're here because of the year of return and all that. So we are talking independence, emancipation, freedom of speech and all that, being black and being powerful having the opportunity to meet the president and, 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 and all that. I saw the shock on um, the Secretary of State's yes, face. face. Yes. And <laughs> Jan Kuma, was that Jan Kuma also? No, that was, I think, Fatima, the, the head of Diaspora Affairs. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, and the sure brains. Fatima, but you yeah. know, a, so I, I saw the shock the on yeah. their faces, and it tells me, no, gentlemen, what's going on here? What are you talking about? So exactly, that's what's on your screens. And you can tell this lady, for, for one, was very shocked. uncomfortable. Yeah, she was very uncomfortable. I know that smile. We, we all put it up sometimes when maybe you're very that's uncomfortable. Maybe how she smiles. Well, <laughs> maybe. A cheesy smile. Well, maybe, but you can tell the way, by the way she's blinking that yeah. she's a little uncomfortable with what's going on. Number one, I think that 
Mick Mill appeared too casual for this <coughs> meeting. I think he appeared too casual, and in his thoughts and utterances, he was also too casual. Um, yes, you can talk about why you went to prison and, and all that, but is that the place for it? And I'm sure that's the look on the president's face, like, dude or gentleman, is this the place for what yeah. you're talking about? Yes, you've been able to um, get out of jail. You're trying to influence society here and there, and you're here to meet me. Can we talk about things or concentrate on things that are not too down the line? Cringe worthy, exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. you know. You know, that, that brings back something that has been within the public domain and taking center stage over the last 24 hours about how the handlers of the president perhaps don't do him good. Yeah. Because yeah. I think that when you put the president in that situation, right. it's real time. There's nothing anybody can, can do. do. It's like it. you're on air. Yeah. You're on air. Yeah. They say... Um, Right. They, they've called the, the shots for you, right. you're standing right. by, right. you're on air, right. you're going, right. or and you've gone live. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. For yeah. example, yeah. if you if you need something and it goes off, there's something, you're stuck. Yeah. You can't do and, anything. And I think that the handlers of the president just don't do him good mm. by putting him in that situation. Yeah. Because if somebody else, and I've, and I've been, and I think many of us as well, have interacted with higher people, the presidency, and they tell you, if you go, this is how you behave. This is how, you, this is say. where you have yeah. to stand. This is say. what you have to yeah. do. Yeah. And it's not as if it's new to people within the it's Jubilee true. House. Not to cut you, I mean, we, 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 we have guests here in, in, in house for interviews and all, and the elites will come and tell you, okay, this is the concentration we want to take a look at today. If you're introducing I mean, him, please leave these credentials and concentrate on this one. On that. Because that's what they, they want to project. Yeah. That's what they want yeah. to talk about. So I... Again, if mm. someone asked him that question, especially if it was the president that asked mm. him, mm. what do you expect him to say? Um, well, we, we weren't there. There's a thin line between speaking yeah, the truth. We weren't there. We yes. weren't there. So and, and, and exactly. we may never That's what I'm know. saying. That. So we, we have may to be measured know. in. Yeah. The comments we may never For know. me, it was something he said yesterday. It was played on News 360, where he said that where he comes from, yeah. they don't get to interact with the officials. Exactly. Yeah like this yes and so for him to come to ghana and get the chance to even speak to the president was for a him, big that's deal a for big him deal. yeah and that sent a strong signal i mean the laxity at which we allowed him to walk in with that kind of look to even go ahead and film a whole music video at the presidency when you are not allowed to take your phones inside i have been there and there's a checkpoint where you leave your phones Especially when there's an event. I've been there for an event and my phones were taken from me. So yeah. I was wondering how come they allow them? Is it because they are American? And that's why a lot of people have, you know, a concern about the fact that we seem to treat the outsiders better than we treat our Ourselves. own selves. Yeah. And if we don't wake up, we're going to keep doing this and allowing all these people to come in and, in quotes, disrespect us to that extent. He claims that, well, they didn't know he was going to shoot a music video and that he had a small camera. And I'm thinking, who was the person that you were interacting with? That should have been a security person. Did he ask you all those details? Small because camera. you your cameras the taking members, away you from you. You stand across the street with yes, a camera. Yes, you cannot. They won't allow you. You, you cannot. So how did we allow you all those people you into the presidency? And we're, and we're, and we're, and we're not talking about you for, for, for the American you embassy. Cannot. We're not, we're not talking state. about them not allowing the big big camera so if you, you immediately you you even erect your, your phone, phone and you do even this way then it, they it tell you even you. even your phone so what yeah. makes it okay to allow phone. certain people to go in there with their phones with their cameras to shoot with a drone i mean for me that was the biggest concern yeah. because yeah, that we can is a security drone. installation right. are we even allowed to fly a drone close to the jubilee house and we are very even close to it we are very close i'm sure the drone gets to that side there's going to be some we'll get an alert exactly so why did they allow something like this? And I'm he says, saying that the security guys. From, they don't see much about Ghana. And so this was his way of promoting Ghana. I'm sorry. There are so many other places you could have shot your video and promoted Ghana. And the president has why traveled thousands of times or if not hundreds of times to the diaspora or to the international um, arena, had, has had great meetings. Recently was even in the United States of America because of the security. IMF yeah. and talking about mm. security, right. Ghana's borders, the right. Wagner forces, mm -hmm. etc. If that doesn't promote Ghana, I don't yeah. know what yeah, else promotes Ghana. Else. But the thing yeah. about the fact that the president was even concerned about security in Ghana, and I think Burkina Faso, which is the statement he made exactly. um, in that meeting in the yes. US. 
and that cuts some flag. So you're concerned about that level of security, but you allow people, and I'm, sorry, I'm not saying the president necessarily, but his security agency, Detail. allow people to come in and film at the presidency. Are we allowed to do same? No, if we, we also are not. want to go there and film No, you cannot something, even we'll, do it. No, that's what I'm saying that what is good for you the can't. goose is good for the gander. Yeah. If you're allowing that for some American rapper who's not even top top, and it doesn't matter whether he's top or not, they have their reasons for meeting him. But if you can allow that, what about the rest of us? I mean, right here at the National Security, when Caleb Kuda, our colleagues, and um, uh, Zoe Abu Beidou even pulled just a phone camera to film. The we vehicles all know that had been abandoned. The vehicles, exactly. The we all saw what happened in this country. So just imagine getting close to the Jubilee House to pull such a stunt. You will be finished in this country. Yeah. It's the same Ghana we are talking about. It certainly about. wasn't a stunt. So, it was yeah, well better. arranged. Yeah. Only that poorly arranged. No, I, I'm just I, saying I, that I, if you go to pull a stunt like that over there, I mean, <laughs> because you would, you would be hiding to try and take a footage of anything near the Jubilee House. Yeah. If you're caught, you, they, you're They finished. certainly were given permission. Oh, yeah, it is the rationale or perhaps the objective for that permission that was not well thought somebody, out. Somebody, Did somebody, somebody think, think through, through about the implications somebody didn't think it through and then what, what, what and how that will rub off positively or negatively yeah. as far as the somebody president is related Did they or ask concerned? to see somebody, the video before it goes out? I which don't is something know. they should have also, I, don't know. I think yeah. that they should have yeah. also done. Yeah. Yeah. See the video. If there's mm. something inside that is going to cause or run the reputation of the presidency down. You take it out yeah. before it goes out. Yeah. I mean, with all those words, unprintable um, words that he said at the presidency. Because I, I don't sorry. think the song had anything to do with um, development Promotion. here in no, Ghana. He said he buy his mama a house. And he pointed oh, well, that's your mama. House. Yeah, he said he buy her So he wants to buy a jubilee house for the mother. He said he buy a crib. Isn't that, yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> crib is a house. Yeah. I'm going to buy my mama. Crib. I don't know what a crib is. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to buy this crib for his la, mama. La, la. All the way in, <laughs> in the United now, States now, of America. Now, Maybe they can afford now it. Now to try to um, oh, wow, bring bro. this to a close. And I believe this will be the last time we'll be talking about it. And hopefully, Probably not. And hopefully it will be the last time. Probably not. <laughs> no. I mean, we have big issues. The when you analyze... When you analyze the defenses that have been put up either by government communicators who not necessarily may be communicating on, on mainstream media but on social media, mm. and then even um, some related experts mm. justifying this action, mm. it, it brings me back to the table to think, ah, is this the same people no, they hadn't in terms of group video. of people they hadn't who always the tell us they hadn't watched Yeah, but the if video. you don't watch the video, don't come on TV and uh, tell us that it could have been that they shot it somewhere uh, and then they he edited says he it didn't, into but the But he said he didn't stuff. watch the video. I, I was honestly He didn't have details. To the extent so. that he related it to the Kosombo Dam and said mm. that, uh, when we talk about security, when, when they kill, bomb this place, one president And with all due respect, I pray it doesn't happen. When the president is killed, we can find another president the next day or so. But, but when you go and bomb the Kosombo Dam, so many people will die and that is more of a security threat. He hadn't than seen the video exposing the Jubilee House. I thought that was a little. Bella, he hadn't seen the video. Honestly, he I hadn't that seen was the video. Let's he take hadn't a seen the video. Let's take a look at. Is it that video we're going to play, Daniel? Okay. Please listen to Professor Entry uh, Vladimir Entry dance yesterday on the news when he was asked about this. Strong suspect that uh, the former is the correct case that we are making a storm in the teacup. I mean. If um, I should be uh, uh, frank with you, I haven't seen the video yet. But I think the case is that a foreign um, artist has been able or has been given the permission to be at the Jubilee House and done some video recording or whatever it is. And that is what is causing the constellation. Then, then I beg to differ. Because uh, a Ghanaian artists have seen some uh, videos where London Bridge, uh, uh, Buckingham Palace, you know, people have gotten permission to shoot, uh, to, to, to back their, their, their videos, their, their music. And these video clips go a long way to sell their music, to sell the culture of the other places. And uh, many people may not have seen Buckingham Palace before. Well, so in, in the world of fil filmmaking, we have props. And if you want to use a prop... Tyler Perry Studios. Okay. You go to, let's say, for example, um, or before today, we used to have uh, the Ghana Film Studios right here. And they do the props. The props, 
these days come in digi digital forms. Okay. I was and in the School of Performing Arts, so sometimes we did it ourselves. Okay. Yeah. So, so the old time they used to use the props, like the physical yes. props. Yes. And now these days they use even the digital props where they do green Green's screens good, yeah. and all that. Mm. And the thing will make you... So how many times haven't we seen the River Thames, that bridge there, mm. bombed? Mm. Many, many times. We've seen in Olympus. Eh? Olympus, Olympus has, has fallen. fallen. The White House... It's bombed White several times. Is that what it's also called? Yeah. yeah. You know, so All those movies. so so the even that even that you get finally through the product the pre production process to have some permits given. Yeah. There's this series on Netflix mm. about Buckingham Palace mm -hmm. about the royal Is family. Is it the crown? Is it the crown? Yeah, yeah, the, crown, crown, the, crown. Yeah. the crown. Yeah. You know, when they, they asked permission, they, they to, yeah. did the filming. Yeah. After they premiered it, they said they were not satisfied with certain aspects. Yes, it means that there was some level of permission that was given. You yeah. can go ahead, yeah. do a biographical or whatever yeah. it is um, on and even the, when the, 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 the monarchy. Yeah. And even when you're watching, some parts will tell you, some parts of the narration will tell you that. It's a depiction. Exactly. It will it's tell not, you. It's not real. Yes, it will tell you. you. Know, so, so I think that going forward, this is a good time for us to think back and look at the protocols and then also what we really want out of these relationships with the diaspora and how we can better do it's not as if this is the first time americans in the diaspora have come here no, so yeah. here uh, why is it that times. this is problematic yeah. and anyone else we've adopted today is not there has to be a reason why should it's very basic should the president be meeting all of them or should there be we have the arts ministry. Yes. There's someone who's leading yes. that ministry. Yes. In some of these cases, can yes. he be made to be the one to meet some mm. of these personalities mm. that come mm. so they can have the a tailored ministry. conversation about how mm. we're bridging the diaspora mm. and Ghana mm. and how we're developing even you know the entertainment. I, I, I think I, I think those conversations have been had. You you will find uh, Okreku Mante, Socrates so and the rest leading a fine charge and then also you have um, uh, um, our man at the Ghana Tourism Authority yeah, also doing some great man, work. Yeah. Okay, so it's not it's not as if we're new to this, mm. and and we have to put this into perspective that it was just an action that went wrong, and the post facto activity was just also not analysed. Yeah. And now this has wrapped off negatively off the precedent, and even the state, you know. Anyway, would we ever get some explanation from the presidency? Maybe, maybe they're thinking through the, uh, the we'll communication. Wait. So I hope so. We'll wait. Yeah. I hope so. We'll wait. Anyway, mm -hmm. well, we've been ranting for quite a while. I'm sure you also joined us some way, somehow. The hashtag is TV3 New Day. We'll be getting into the big issues. Yes, yes. And we have more coming up right Certainly, here the yes. Show. We're taking a break. Is the Michael Blackson interview showing today? Yes, it is. Okay, so we also went all the way to, I, I mentioned Agonan, Agonan Sabah. Sabah. Agonan Sabah which is where he has put up that school that would provide free mm -hmm. education to pupils in the community. It's providing what, free SHS or what? No, so it's from um, kindergarten to GHS. It's okay. going to be free um, for all the children in the community. No matter the number of people? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we went there to take a look and have a conversation with him. So we'll, we'll listen to it later yeah. then. All righty. We'll be right back.